Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the major CCT-100 Corbin Capping Tool, CCT. Um, this is what it is. There's certainly not much to a capping tool uh, in terms of the complexity of what it is. Let's take some dimensional properties. About two and a half inch overall width Overall height, about two and three eighths, and its thickness is about an inch and an eighth. Um, weighs about 0.94 pound. It's going to include an Allen wrench that you're going to need uh, in order to... It includes one Allen wrench. You're actually going to need two. Uh, the Allen wrench that it includes allows you to move the spacing screw that's back here okay right now that's set for a six pin cylinder length I'll describe explain what that means in a moment and I think what we'll do is let's talk specifically about what you're going to use this for and why you might be considering this tool it's not cheap that's to be sure um, and like m practically all locksmithing tools they are not cheap however they happen to be the most elegant way to do the job. So let's talk about specifically what you'll use this for. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. What you're going to use this for is you're doing a job of full size, pardon me, large format interchangeable core cylinders from Corbin Russwin. And you have enough of them to justify the tool in terms of having to do it. I happen to have a, um, I don't know the part number, uh, I'd have to look it up, I just don't memorize these things um, or retain them so easily. This is a pyramid, doesn't matter that it's pyramid, this just happens to be a uh, large format interchangeable core, it happens to be pyramid, which is a system from Corbin Russwood in terms of being high security. It's got a little tip down there that allows you to depress a piece of spring steel that will allow the core to turn. Okay, Got its control key here as well. Okay, Now I'm going to be able to demonstrate Yeah, it doesn't matter if the control key is in or not. I will demonstrate what this is used for. So if you've ever capped large format Sargent, Yale, Corbin Russwin, Medico, everybody else, full size, if it's Schlage, small format, whether it be Best or Arrow or Falcon or any clone of Best, you realize that getting that small piece of flat brass onto the top of the cylinder is a hassle if you're trying to hold that and tap that down. It ain't going to work so easily. If And I don't like, I, I because it takes time, individual capping by Best or Falcon or whoever cylinder it is that's individually capped my... It might be right there. My um, staking tool is there in that best box um, because putting on those individual caps or even putting on this. So if I'm pinning a job, I'm going to choose a Falcon C607A or C607. I think that's the um, flat you know, strip capped model um, rather than the individually capped because it's so much faster. But I have a capping tool. It's not as cool or as large as this one, and this one's better than mine, actually. Um, my capping tool is here somewhere, but I believe it might be down over where one of my co-workers does some pinning. It's, it's either here or has been relocated. The problem with the... It might be the lab capping block is that it's too small it's physically smaller so what what's happening I'm putting the core in there and then I'm holding a piece of metal 
that's maybe inch and a quarter. Well, what am I trying to do with this hand? Use the hammer, okay? This tool allows you to get your fingers away from the hammer or, or, the, or the rubber mallet. Um, and that's why I like this. Now, is this super expensive? Yes. Is every piece of locksmithing equipment super expensive? Yes. And that's probably because of volume. You know, how many CCT 100s are you going to sell in a year? Um, you know, you buy one of these, you keep it for your career. So I like this tool because it's larger. Get my hands away from it so I can tap that down. So this is going to handle a six or seven pin cylinder from Corbin Russwin. The exact figure eight shape is Corbin Russwin. No other core is really going to fit into that. I had mentioned earlier, it comes with a uh, Allen wrench for the six pin setting. Or you can shift it over to the seven pin setting here. And that screw's got a shoulder on it, so I can't push the core in any further. And yeah, I mean, frankly, if I remove the screw, I'd be able to push that all the way through. So if I'm doing six pin, I leave it where it's indented a little bit or, depre or has a depression. Or seven pin, I'm going to move it over here. So I have <clears throat> now, um, is this a pinning block as well? Yeah, it could be. Let's remove this top block, and for that, this, the Allen wrench that's not included is a 3 16 It's nice to have, you know what, maybe not. Maybe that's just meant to loosen. I mean, I'm sure, it, obviously, it'll come all the way out. We'll see if they talk about that. Oh, yeah. It's on springs. That's nice. Okay. You can get your... So what you do is you... You're going to combinate your, your plug. If you're right-handed, you'll hold that with, you know, what, however. You're going to load your chambers. You're going to put your spring. Your, your um, flat brass is going to go on there. Okay. That's going to... The point of it being spring-loaded is because... You have the springs that are inside of there. They're pushing that flat cap up. Okay, that is going to keep it seated until you're because right now this has been tapped down. But otherwise, they're they're V-shaped. They have a V profile to them. So that's going to keep that down in place. And because you're centering it right where that V point is going to be, and then you bring. I don't. Have, my mallet is eight feet that way. You crack that. You're going to lower, you're going to take that, and you're going to fold it like this. So this width is X, but when it folds down, it's Y. And it's going to fit right inside of there really well. So if you pin interchangeable core, you don't need me describing to you what I just said. And actually, I don't think I needed to loosen that at all. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it needed to be loosened slightly to get it to... to um, to move up is the bottom line. So it will include that wrench for the back. Um, nice red anodized block of aluminum. Uh, let's... I don't know what other capping tools they have, but we're going to take a look. There are installation instructions that are included. And we're going to switch now to the screen view, and we're going to take a closer look at those installation instructions. Let's do that now. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, so here's the tool we're lo we are looking at. Cylinder capping tool for Corbin and Russwin interchangeable core. Sold as each. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. Product brochure. Let's click on that. And I do want to prime something else while we're talking about it, since we're talking about Corbin. Okay, product brochure. Okay, so it shows a Corbin capping tool and a Sargent capping tool. So that's nice. That's definitely nice. Like it says, don't I have three hands? Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. Um, when you're trying to cap something, that's pretty accurate. Um, capping tool, 
Um, I won't read that to you. It says everything that I've just basically said. There is also a link to the installation instructions, which uh, you know are included with the document. That tells me that we are... Yeah, so if you noticed my pyramid core, I think the control chambers are only in two and three. Um, oh no, they're probably in two, three, and four. Or no, actually, or maybe... I, forgive me, I just don't remember. Yeah, I think the, the control chambers are chambers 2, 3, and 4 on this pyramid, whereas the non-secure, the, the standard security, non-high security is 2, 3, 4, and 5 is, is your control chambers. Doesn't matter. Um, adjustable for 6 or 7 pin. You place your uh, brass capping strip on the unit. You slide it in. As you're lifting that spring-loaded top plate up. Um, yeah. Make sure the keys work before you cap it. And then your rubber mallet. Rawhide mallet to set the brass strip. It's that simple. If you're looking at this video, you know how to use it. If you're considering buying a capping tool, I'm not saying to buy this one, but I can tell you that you will appreciate the fact that it is wider because it gets your hands away from that. The one that I have for Falcon is a bit of a drag because it's small. I just haven't, you know, I, I need them for small format. I just haven't pulled the trigger on, on one that suits my needs better. Um, images. I have some images of everything here. Nice view showing the six or seven pin setting. The instructions and the one Allen wrench that's included. Now, there is a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page within our website. And from here, you can pull up not only all of the major products we sell by means of that horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website and a link to their full product catalog. I would most definitely suggest a dive into this catalog because while locksmithing tools is not really what I think of major four, they do have material that is directly related to locksmithing. Okay. About almost halfway through the catalog. Lots of lock installation templates as well. We happen to land on this page, this extend a cylinder page. I have videos showing me taking a, you know, inch and a quarter mortise cylinder and turning it into a two and a quarter mortise cylinder. Uh, in a period of just, you know, 28 minutes. So there you go. Lock, lock installation tools down here as well. Now, I said that I wanted to take a look at Corbin. Since we're talking about Corbin, in our website, if you get to the word manufacturers and you click on that, and then you can do a find function on your keyboard for Corbin, you'll find Corbin Ruswin. The reason I'm pointing this page out is this is where you're going to find the cylinder manual the Corbin Ruswin Cylinder Manual. This document spans over a hundred years of history of Corbin Ruswin, if not more. What's nice about this manual is not only is it the most comprehensive document authored by a single manufacturer, well, Corbin and Ruswin, when it comes to the, the governance of their entire system of keying, although the last 20 years or so I think are absent. You know, you're not going to find pyramid references in here. But if you want to learn how to combinate Corbin Ruswin large format, this is the document to go to. If you want to teach yourself how to pin these cylinders, this is it. I'm going to keep going until I get to interchangeable core. 
Yeah, this is it. Combinating interchangeable core. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so right at about page 27, this is going to talk you through, teach you how to do all of this. Corbin and Ruswin's system is easy using build up pins plus or minus build up pins or zero. And once you read through this, and if you've got a pinning kit and you've got cut keys and you've got some cores, believe me, you can do this. You've got to have all the right supplies in your pin kit. Uh, but I have taught myself how to key all of their stuff. And, you know, it's just a matter of forgetting because I don't combinate Corbin Ruswin often. Um, but if I needed my refresher, this is exactly where I would go. So I pointed out because we're talking about interchangeable core. They have a comprehensive uh, section on master ring as well, uh, a subject that I've, I've uh, dove deeply into in the past. Okay, so that's uh, that stuff. Here's their old um, high security stuff with the interlocking pins. You can still find this on the Ebays of the world. I've got some in my lot collection, really cool. You're not gonna shim one of these cylinders open, that's for sure. At least I don't believe you will. All right, let's wrap up this video on camera. If you've made it this far into this video, you must be determined to see it through to the end, and we appreciate your hanging in there with us and watching this entire video. It means a lot. It takes a lot of work to create these videos in the sense that, um, you know, it's time taken away from doing other things. However, the advantage for me personally of creating these videos is the fact that it does allow myself to either learn about something new to uh, reacquaint myself with something or to reinforce what I believe that I already know. Any comments that you might leave down below would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So if you have any questions on the CCT100 Corbin Ruswin capping tool or any other major product, please feel free to reach out to us. Major is a simple, straightforward, no-nonsense type outfit. You send them purchase orders, they get the material pulled off the shelf or made and pulled off the shelf and shipped. And it's just like that. Just super simple and straightforward. Um, if you have not heard of them and you are in either locksmithing or you're in any sort of field service, you get called out to service, you know, electric strikes or cut material into doors and frames. <laughs> I was about to say, you, you run the risk of not knowing about uh, major to your peril but you're certainly going to want to familiarize yourself with the tools that they have. Um, practically everything that's in that book is still available. And, uh, you know, I, I like being able to distribute for them because I understand the products, mostly of most of everything they sell. I can explain how to use the material that, in, you know, uh, is a win for the client. Uh, and it's a win for us and it's a win for major. So any questions on the CCT 100 or any other Corbin um, major product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.